Next on the News at 10. A West Alabama man is behind bars, charged with several counts of the sexual abuse of a child. And two men are arrested for selling counterfeit tickets to the Alabama LSU game. The News is next. From the campus of the University of Alabama, live, local news. From Alabama's home team, this is WVUA News at 10. Good evening. I'm Maggie O'Keefe. And I'm Scott Braswell. Topping our news tonight, two Georgia men are facing charges related to selling counterfeit tickets to the Alabama LSU football game. On Saturday, a fan flagged in an officer and said they were sold fake tickets to the game. The officer talked to the suspects but was unable to find probable cause for an arrest at the time. The officer later saw the suspects with counterfeit tickets in their car and arrested them. 48-year-old Colin Christopher Young and 44-year-old Alfonso Bernard Daniels, you see them there on your screen, were placed in the Tuscaloosa County Jail on a $240,000 bond. Both men are being charged with 16 counts of criminal possession of a forged instrument, second degree. State troopers are investigating the cause of a two-vehicle crash that happened Monday afternoon. It claimed the life of 17-year-old Dylan Heilman of Gouin. He and a friend were in a 1997 Ford Taurus that collided with a dump truck on Alabama Highway 17 in Detroit. An unlicensed minor was driving at the time of the accident. Heilman was not wearing a seatbelt. A man is behind bars tonight facing sex abuse charges of a minor. According to Tuscaloosa County District Attorney Lynn Head, the victim is younger than 12 years old. Head says Morgan Lee Skelton is facing five counts of sex abuse and one count of sodomy, but she would not say where the alleged incidents took place. Northport Police Lieutenant Keith Carpenter couldn't say much about the case, but he did tell WVUA the alleged abuse happened a few years ago, and there's enough evidence to get warrants for an arrest. Carpenter says the case will now go to a grand jury, and they will determine if it will go to trial. Skelton is currently in the Tuscaloosa County Jail under a $75,000 bond. New information tonight about the Alabama fan shot this weekend. Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide Sergeant Dale Phillips says these are the two suspects wanted in connection with the shooting. The victim stopped at the Shell Station on Skyland Boulevard. He was taunted by two men about being an Alabama fan. Then a fight broke out and the suspect and victim sought it, shot at each other. We still have several people to interview. And, and leads to follow up before we can really determine what caused this altercation. The victim was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 205-752-STOP. Well, tonight, Miss Philippines USA will host a fundraiser at Galette's in Tuscaloosa to benefit those directly impacted by Typhoon Hawaiian. So far, over 2,600 deaths are confirmed as a result of the massive storm that hit Asia. University of Alabama student Jasmine Sabio is representing the country as a preliminary title holder within the Miss Universe organization. She says that although her family was not affected, she hopes this fundraiser will bring forth awareness and funds to help the devastated areas. The whole country was hit, and I just feel like that's what's right is just to help give back, regardless if it is my family or not. So. Um, just anything I can do to help, whether it's thoughts, prayers, um, just sending out words of encouragement, but I think this fundraiser will make a big impact. The event is titled Revelry for Relief, and all money raised will go directly to the typhoon victims. And before we go to break, don't forget to follow your home team on Twitter. Follow us for the latest breaking news and what's happening all around Alabama and beyond. An American family is back home after their vacation to the Philippines turned into a nightmare. Although November is one of the least popular months for weddings, find out why couples are choosing to get married today. And number one took on number two tonight in college basketball. Gary Harris will have Kentucky Michigan State highlights later in your home team sports. Out, Go Big Blue Nation. Boom, boom. All right. Can I get a picture real fast because I'm like dressed up for this? Yeah. I never. <laughs> 